Most of all, it was a great pleasure to be here with the graduating class of 2012. I have imagined for some time now what today would feel like. For many of us, this day was unimaginable. As we have grown through our experiences and have taken on great challenges, the thought of graduation became more and more realistic. Perhaps the feeling for some of you is surreal. For others, you always knew you would make it here. I know for me, graduating today carries great meaning. I struggled greatly as I paved my own path, being the first one in my family to obtain a doctorate degree. My family... <laughs> my family has instilled in me the ability to value hard work and family. And I know they are very proud that I have chosen a field that will give others hope and inspiration. Graduates, whether your feeling today is dreamlike or real, let us embrace it, for we have worked hard to be here today. We have endured countless papers, presentations, readings, exams, evaluations, and have dodged parking enforcement numerous times. <laughs> For many of you that have had the pleasure of learning in, new, in Antioch's new home, you have overcome the move, you have experienced the lovely sights, and sounds, and smells of construction. But most of all, you've had the opportunity to study in a beautiful new setting. Thank goodness we followed our hearts and passion and ended up on the path that has brought us here. Many of us have struggled numerous times questioning our dreams asking ourselves if this is the right path and am I qualified. Thankfully, we have found people in our lives that are encouraging and supportive, like those here at Antioch, in our cohort, and among the faculty and staff. This university has provided us with a community that has believed in us and that has helped foster our self-confidence and growth. I hope that, like me, many of you other graduates are inspired to pay it forward and will continue to be a part of the Antioch community by supporting future graduates. Today we celebrate with our loved ones, the ones that have supported us through our educational journey. These loved ones may consist of professional mentors and colleagues, friends and family. Some of these loved ones unfortunately could not join us today due to various reasons, but are here in spirit and in our hearts. Today as we graduate, we hold many special people in our hearts including our significant others. Love you, babe. <laughs> I better refer to my husband before the dog or I'll be in trouble. <laughs> Our wonderful partners have been there, ever so patient and encouraging. We also celebrate with our friends, friends whose lives we now look forward to catching up with now that we have finally had some downtime. We celebrate with family members who are proud of our accomplishments. And we may also hold our dear pets in our hearts today, as they were such great companions throughout, cuddling up as we sat down to study. To all of you loved ones, may you be inspired by your beloved graduate here today, and follow your dreams too. We can't thank you enough for supporting us throughout this journey in reaching our dream. As we embark on heading on to a new part of our life today, Ponder upon Antioch's mission and what you are taking with you. Antioch's mission states that Antioch University provides learner-centered education to empower students with the knowledge and skills to lead meaningful lives and to advance social, economic, and environmental justice. What has your experience at Antioch left you with? Personally and professionally, I see that I have been positively transformed. What I most appreciate is the passion I gained to be an advocate for social justice. Sometimes the transformation that needs to occur in our world can be overwhelming, which is why I embraced a song by Ben Harper as my mantra. The song is entitled, With My Own Two Hands, and has the message of being able to make the world a better, brighter, safer, and kinder place with our own two hands by reaching out to others helping the human race, and making peace on earth. Advocating for social justice is the gift that keeps on giving, 
as we can model being respectful and accepting of all people, and in turn, hope to impact those around us. We are capable of having impactful conversations with others that involve critical thinking and offer a perspective that is open-minded and inspiring. Throughout my time here at Antioch, I've held this passion for social justice close to my heart, and it is something that I will continue to carry with me throughout my entire life. I feel so grateful that I have been able to gain clinical experience from working in various um, community mental health agencies that, like Antioch, also believe in the ideal of social justice as a part of their mission. I will never forget what the late Dr. Herschel Swinger said from the Children's Institute Incorporated in Los Angeles. He believed, as I do, that we as social justice, that we as social justice advocates and as helping professionals are, in a sense, not trying to change the world, but we are trying to just get the world back to the way it's supposed to be. I interpret this as a world that accepts all people, a world that is equal and just, and a world where people in it consider the impact that their actions and words can have not only on, the other, on others, but on nature and society as a whole. As we begin our next journey in life, whether it be starting a family, continuing education, uh, beginning our careers, or all of the above, let us not forget to appreciate those that have helped us along the way, and let us not forget the inspiration we gained from our time here at Antioch University. Congratulations, class of 2012, and best wishes for a happy and successful future.